Hey Chris, it's Rob. I'm going to try to show you how to add promo codes here and um, I'll add the promo codes to this form so you won't have to do it but um, then you'll be able to watch this and, and do it in the future and maybe show the other franchise people this video. So, um, first thing we need to do is add a field. okay? And we want to make it a a drop down. Let's make it a drop down. And the question is do you have a promo code? We'll delete the third choice because there's only yes and no. And then we need to add another field. And this is just going to be a single text line. Enter promo code here. Okay. And then we're going to, whoops, I don't want to duplicate that. We want to add another field. And this is going to be checkbox, or multiple choice one, I'm sorry, and we want to get rid of the third and second choice, and this will be set price to minus $15, whoops, and the label will be code coach 15 worked, okay, now we also want to down here under add CSS layout keywords, is type in the word cloak. Okay. So then we're going to save this form. Go back to the form manager. Um, go to the banquet form, and now we need to go to rules. Now we haven't had any rules for this one yet, so we create a field rule. First one's going to be is for the question, do you have a promo code? If that answer is yes, then we want to show enter promo code here. Okay. Then we add another one. Enter promo code here. If that answer is coach15, then we show coach code code 15 worked. We save that. We can view the form. Here's the form, the name and stuff. I would like to reserve a seat, one seat for the banquet. Say yes. There's the $15. Do you have a promo code? Yes, I do. Type in the promo code coach15. Coach 15 and worked. Oh wait, it didn't work. It didn't subtract the 15. There's one more thing we have to set up, and I knew this was going to happen. I just wanted to show you. After you set the rules, make sure you always save fields too. After you set the rules, you have to go back to the banquet and then to payment. Okay, and then you want to assign prices to a field, and you want to sign for code Coach 15 worked, and that you want to set to minus 15. Okay. We'll save the settings here. We can't preview in this view, so we have to go back to the forms, go to the bank bit, and preview it here. We'll say yes to this one. There's the 15. Yes, I have a promo code. The promo code is Coach15. Coach15 worked. Yay, it worked. I don't owe any money. Okay. Um, so that's the way you set up promo codes. Each promo code you have to do a, a rule for. Um, you only have to do the rule for this once, but if you have 10 promo codes, you have to do a rule for each promo code that if they enter that right promo code, it will show that that code worked, and then you have to go into the payments and make sure you subtract the money. So it's pretty simple. Uh, like I said, these are now saved into the banquet reservations. Um, you don't need to go in and do that, but it's done, and it's a pretty simple operation. Um, the best thing to do, though, is if you're going to make a form and copy it, like I do for like all these fall registration ones, before you have to go back and make all the rules and make all the promo codes and do all that again, if you do it on the one of them, get it working right on one, and then you copy your uh, forms and rechange the names and stuff. If you don't do it that way, you're going to be taking a lot of time of adding codes later on to each form that could be done easily done for or codes and rules that could have been easily done on one and copied to the rest. So, just thought I'd inform that of you. I hope it makes sense. I hope it, it was simple. Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and email. Thanks.